Hello, I'm George Busby and welcome to Win All Sport. On the show today, hair raising run for the football thirds. Wiltshire's annual sports festival gives disabled people an opportunity to showcase their skills. And goals galore at Stoneham. The Winchester men's football thirds ran the Winchester 10K last Sunday, but you might not have recognised them. They were all dressed as the 118 man. Our own Joel Marriott put on his wig and running vest for the great event. Welcome to the Winchester 10K. As you can tell, it's very early. It is 10 to 7 in the morning. I'm just having some breakfast. After that, I'm going to meet up with two more runners. We're going to head down to a meeting point with the rest of the team. And then we're going to head down to the starting point and grab our numbers. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, I'm here with Callum, Callum and Alex, ready to go on our way to the meetup point at the county. So, boys, how are we feeling today? I'm feeling good. Feeling good, ready, ready to run. Ready to do the 10k. It's raining at the moment, but it's not damping our spirits. We're still going to have a good time. Right, we're here at the start line, getting ready to get this race underway. Gotta be some good fun. We're doing it for charity. I'll explain a little bit later. But um, yeah, we're ready to go. We're all here in our outfits. 118s. We're gonna be running it. But yeah, here we go. Now, I've spoken a lot about us running this 10K for charity. The charity we as a football team chose to run for was called CALM. CALM represents an acronym which is Campaign Against Living Miserably. They strive to help with suicides and the mental well being of men under the age of 45. As a team, we believe that this is the perfect charity to run for, as we are all young men and it is important to start the conversation for men's mental health. We are here at the finish line, completed the 10k, we got our medals, good run, all for charity, raised £580 and yeah, overall really good. I think the boys did really well, we all pushed through, yeah, carried on running the whole 10k, perfect. I've been Joel Marriott, Winchester News Online. AFC Stoneham are chasing promotion to the Southern League for the first time in their club's history. Their latest challenge was against Sherborne Town at Stoneham Lane. Taylor James Greer reports. Stoneham maintained their place at the top of the table after the 5-2 victory over Shelbourne Town. Goal scored all of them inside 25 minutes. Dwight Martin scored his 20th league goal of the season as Josh Batts header put the perps 2-0 up inside 6 minutes. Ollie Herper's effort for the Zebras got them back into the game. But a double from Terrell Simpson, who knitted his 22nd goal of the season, and her own goal from Selborne, which Liam Gallagher claimed saw Stoneham 5 to the good. Substitute Ben Wood did get a consolation goal for the away side, but Stoneham was victorious as they take on Brockenhurst tonight in the Wessex Premier League. Yeah, I understand. We sort of keep doing what we're doing, um, take each game as it is. Um, no matter who the opponent is, like today, we don't see this game any different than a Manny's or a Shaftesbury. We've got to take off the games as they come. Um, and every single game that we do turn up for, we'll make sure that everyone's ready for it. As it stands, Stone on the top of the Wessex Premier League of their victory at Stone and Lane. Moneyfields are putting on the pressure as they came back from behind to beat third place Shaftesbury away from home. Cal Laycock, Josh Hazel, and James Franklin score for Glen Turnbull's side. Porchester did not play on Saturday after their game was called off 15 minutes prior to kickoff. Conveniently enough, the Perts found themselves in a similar position this time last year as they eventually missed out on promotion on goal difference. We've definitely got a squad to win it. But South Moneyfield and South Shaftesbury and South Porchester. It's a fact our take that only one team can win the league. And I think you've got four teams there could all probably do well in the league above. And I think throughout the country, this will be one of the most competitive leagues and it's really difficult to get out of. Stoneham maintain an 11 game unbeaten run as they nip for promotion to the Southern League for the first time in its club's history. Taylor James Greer, Winchester News Online. Southampton's bid to bounce back into the Premier League hit another snag at the weekend. With news on that and a roundup of other regional scores, here's Elliot McVie. Southampton were left disappointed again on Saturday when they were beaten 2 1 at home by Millwall. It was the Londoners who opened the scoring early on through Jaffet Tanganga, but this was cancelled out by a Che Adams header on 35 minutes. However, a penalty shortly before the break was enough for the relegation-threatened Lions to take all three points. 
In League One, Portsmouth were left frustrated after they were held to a goalless draw by Charlton. They still increased their lead at the top of the table though, thanks to a Derby County's defeat at Barnsley. Elsewhere, goals from Scott Quigley and Paul McCallum helped Eastleigh consolidate their mid-table spot in the National League, seeing off third place side Bromley. But there was no such joy for playoff chasing Aldershot, who suffered a 4-1 humbling at the hands of Southend United. Winchester City were back in action this weekend after their midweek trip to Poole was postponed. Two goals from Oli Barmer were enough to triumph over struggling Harrow Borough. The victory puts Winchester in good stead ahead of tonight's trip to Tiverton. And finally in the Isthmian League, Chichester City faced a tricky clash at home to Seven Oaks Town. It was a closely fought contest, the only goal of the game coming when a speculative effort from Chichester's Jimmy Wilde slipped through the hands of visiting keeper Dan Colmer. Disability has often been a barrier to taking part in sport, but there was a life-changing opportunity for dozens of disabled people in Tidworth last week. A festival of sport was put on by the Willpower, the national charity for wheelchair sport at the town's leisure centre, and Guy Nicklinson was there to find out how it went. The free event encouraged anyone above the age of five with a physical disability to come along and play and try out a number of different sports. Badminton, golf, table tennis, rugby and boccia were the sports on offer, with rugby and table tennis particularly popular. It's great coming here today because there's so many different sports. I have never tried badminton before, I've never tried table tennis in a chair before. I stood up for the first time in years today, so that was absolutely fantastic. But wheelchair rugby is my, my, my sport. I love wheelchair rugby. So it's great having so many sharks here today to play with. The participants had the chance to learn from local sports coaches, and Emily, who took part last year, loved it so much that this year she returned as a coach. Um, it's been great for all the participants to join in and try lots of different sports and have lots of fun. Wheelpower believes sport has the power to transform lives. It can help participants to develop confidence, improve fitness and is also a great way to have fun and make friends. There are tremendous physical and psychological benefits and that's why more and more people are attending their events. It's very successful as far as we're concerned, back for the second year running and um, we've got uh, an increased number of participants, some returning faces, some new faces, uh, young and old, people absolutely loving it. Wheelpower also hosts these events in London, Merseyside, Yorkshire, Buckinghamshire and Glasgow and are keen to help as many disabled people as possible get into sport. So a fantastic day here in Tidworth for the local disabled community. The participants have all had a lot of fun and hopefully they can continue to build a positive relationship with sport. Guy Nicklinson, Winchester News Online. Finally, basketball and the eagerly anticipated game between the Winchester Knights and the University of Exeter. The league rivals faced off in the local cup and after losing their previous matchup, the Knights were looking for revenge. Charlie Blake was courtside. The last time these two played, Exeter narrowly won. Early on in the game, the Knights had success going to Cameron early as he gets fouled at the rim, leading to two free throws. Dan finds Will open on the wing, leading to an easy open three. Just before half-time, Exeter end up with a steal, but do not capitalise in time, as the buzzer goes. The Knights lead 38-31 at half-time. Starting the second half off, the Knights wanted to extend their lead. At the top of the key, Ruben crosses left and is able to glide through the defenders, leading to an easy layup. Exeter come away with the steal on defence, leading to a 2 on 1, resulting in an easy finish at the other end, plus the foul. After two overtime periods, the Knights end up winning 75 71 in a tough home game. Ash was named player of the game with a dominant 32.5 block performance. Charlie Blake, Winchester News Online. That's all your sport news for the week. See you next time. Goodbye.